KP classes dedicated to excellence. Department of the post of assistant architect. And in this video, I'll be taking you through the details of the Sikkim Public Service Commission Assistant Architect Requirement Procedure. All the details you need to know with respect to this particular post. So at an overview first, I will be taking you through the details of the number of posts, the eligibility criteria and then uh, the important dates for this particular requirement uh, procedure, the selection procedure and the syllabus and how to prepare for this examination. That's going to be an overview of this short video. So let me first begin by discussing about the number of posts. Uh, the total number of vacancies, <coughs> excuse me. The total number of vacancies is as per the no official notification, it is 18 of which three are for the unreserved candidates. Uh, then there are uh, the detailed breakup can be found out in the official notification where there are can uh, there are a few vacancies reserved for uh, other backward classes, women and also uh, SC, ST and other primitive tribes. So you can see the detailed breakup in the official notification. The total number of posts is going to be 18. That's the first thing we need to remember. As far as the eligibility criteria is considered for the post of assistant architect, uh, the minimum educational qualification is going to be a BR degree from any recognized university and also should be registered with the Council of Architect Architecture New Delhi as that is you should have a COA certificate and a registration. Uh, that's the minimum qualification and educational requirement. As far as the age limit is considered, you have you should be attained a minimum age of 21 years and the maximum age limit is going to be 40 years as on 31st of January 2024 that's the cutoff date for the age criteria as far as the documents required you should be requiring for the application you should be requiring you should be having registration certificate with council of architecture you should also have possession of the Sikkim subject certificate or a certificate of identification issued by the state government of Sikkim uh, so you can assume that the state domicile of Sikkim is required for you to apply. You can however cross check with the official notification of Sikkim Public Service Commission or you can contact them if you have any query in this regard. Uh, you should be possessing Sikkim subject, service, uh, sub, uh, Sikkim subject certificate. Other than that you should have an NOC no objection certificate if you are employed. You should be uh, also having the uh, marriage certificate if you are having uh, if you are a married candidate. And you should also have a local employment card issued by the appropriate authority of the government of Sikkim. These are the documents which are required uh, with respect to the eligibility for the post of assistant architect in Sikkim Public Service Commission. As far as the important dates are considered, uh, the last date for completing the application is 8th of March of 2024 and then the details with respect to the selection procedure uh, the there will be two examinations as per the official notification the selection will be based on two examinations paper one uh, pap the first paper paper one is going to be general english and general knowledge the detailed syllabus of general english and general general knowledge is also given the on the official website of sikkim public service commission you can check the detailed syllabus on their website uh, there will be a total of 100 questions which could be both of MCQ and conventional type. It will be a one and a half hour examination for English and then architecture part. Architecture part is going to have a total of 300 MCQ and conventional questions. Conventional could basically be a return examination too. So there will be 300 marks of 300 marks will, go, will be the total weightage. 100 marks for English and general knowledge. For architecture part, it is going to be 300 marks uh, 50 is to 50 ratio for MCQ and conventional. That's how it is written in the official notification. This is going to be a three hour examination. So it is totally, it is going to be an exam for four and a half hours, two papers with the syllabus covering general English, general knowledge and also architecture. And the exam will be both of MCQ and conventional mode. Uh, the total marks, if you can see, 100 marks is for English and general aptitude, uh, general knowledge, 300 marks is the weightage for the core topic of architecture. And finally, there will be 40 marks of weightage given to the interview and personality round as well. So that's with respect to the selection procedure. There will be two exams and an interview for the selection of this particular uh, post. Uh, if you are eligible for the post of assistant architect under Sikkim Public Service Commission and if you are preparing for it, you can use our good quality content for your preparation from KP Gate classes uh, where we are offering online classes with the recorded backup on the mobile app 
a lot of practice questions which are within the syllabus of the official examination of us of the architecture paper and also the study material which would be required for you for yourself study in the online format you can access all our resources the link to purchase the sikkim public service commission assistant architect post is given in the description of this video you can directly click on the link and download the mobile app of kp gate classes and purchase the uh, course over there or if you have any doubt in this regard you can get in touch with us you can call our whatsapp on the number which is scrolling uh, on the screen or you can also find the contact number in the description of this video uh, so lastly before i leave as far as the content for the architecture examination as far as these 300 marks in 3 hour of examination is considered as per the official notification the syllabus for this architecture part is going to be the uh, syllabus of br which has been mentioned in the architects act of 1972 so it basically covers everything which is a part of the curriculum of br uh, the five year course so it uh, it covers all the basic uh, aspects of the subjects of architecture including history building materials building construction services urban planning urban housing lighting thermal and visual comfort environment all the aspects of the official syllabus of the uh, of the architecture uh, specialization will be a part of the syllabus for, for for this examination so if you are preparing for it you can purchase the course of sikkim public service commission the link of which is given in the description of this video thank you everyone